Hi everyone, this video is going to be for Urban Decay's new Naked Heat palette. This is available through Ulta, Sephora, Nordstrom, Urban Decay's own website, and wherever you can find Urban Decay. This is a new 12 pan palette in the Urban Decay Naked line. And this palette, as you can see, features amber toned neutrals. Urban Decay says that these shades are supposed to flatter all skin tones, and each shade is supposed to feature the pigment infusion system, which apparently is a proprietary blend of ingredients that gives each shade its velvety texture, rich color, ultimate staying power, and blendability. So we'll see about that when we're swatching these. I am also going to give away a brand new Naked Heat palette to a lucky subscriber. So make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below, something other than enter me or I wanna win that. Just tell me something about this palette that you think, about Urban Decay, about the Naked line, or just something interesting about yourself or anything that is going to be interesting for me to read in order to make sure you have a chance to win this. It is open international. So feel free to enter even if you do not live in the United States. All right, so here is the outer packaging. It is very, very beautiful in terms of the outer case here and palette. This retails for $54, and I'll make sure to include a link to where you can find it now for purchase in the description box below. And let's get to opening up this palette. Make sure you're subscribed, and if you want to purchase anything from the blog sale, that link is also in the description box below. All right, let's get to swatching the Naked Heat palette. And as always, I will be swatching these shades over primer, and we will go left to right, probably six shades at a time. But here are what the pans or the shadows look like up close in the pan. So you can get an idea of the mix of mattes, metallics, and shimmers before I swatch them. All right, so the first shade is Ounce, which is a shimmery ivory. Next is Chaser, which is a matte pale nude. Sauced is a matte soft terracotta. Low Blow is a matte brown, slightly warm toned. Lumbre is a shimmery copper with a gold pearl shift. This is definitely a duochromed shade. And He Devil, which is a matte burnt red. Okay, so up close, here are the leftmost six shades. Dirty Talk is a metallic burnt red. Scorched is a metallic deep red with gold micro shimmer. Cayenne is a matte deep terracotta. El Fuego is a matte burgundy. Ashes is a matte deep reddish brown. And ember is a metallic deep copper burgundy. Okay, there are the second set, the rightmost six shades from the Naked Heat palette. I do notice that these two matte shades, El Fuego and what is this one, Ashes, these matte shades are much patchier and drier and uneven on the skin. All right, so there are real-time swatches over primer with an eyeshadow brush of Urban Decay's Naked Heat palette. Um, I think overall it is a very nice palette with the exception of those two matte shades that I pointed out just now. Although it's different when you apply it to the eye space, especially since when I'm swatching them, you know, I think it's pretty accurate in terms of there being primer, uh, things like that. But 
because the eye space is so much smaller, a lot of the times something that swatches patchy or uneven, you don't really see that patchiness when you actually apply it to the lid, just because the space that you're blending it over is so much smaller. Any sort of patchiness or dryness a lot of times is not as apparent, but sometimes it is, it just depends. So let me know in the comment section below if you find that those matte shades are patchy when you're trying to blend them out and apply to the lids. And I will certainly let you know after testing this out in a look what I think of the formula of those shades. But other than those two shades, they do seem very even pigmented and smooth on the skin. So I think it's overall a nice palette. Do I think that it's universally flattering? Not at all. It's a very, very warm toned palette. So not everyone is going to like that. And that's not going to be flattering on everyone's skin tone. So it's, I think, probably one of the harder palettes to work with because some people just don't like those really amber toned shades and some people have skin tones that don't really work well with those tones. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any other thoughts. Again, if you'd like to win a new Naked Heat palette, make sure you're subscribed and leave me a comment. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video.